Hi everyone, this is Dhruv Bhutani and Siraj from PhoneArena.com and we're at the ASUS booth at IFA Berlin 2017 where we're going to take a look at one of the latest laptops that ASUS announced today. Now this is the Nitro 5 Spin. It's a, well, it's a turbocharged version of the Spin 5 uh, for which we've also got a video out. Uh, you can see that this is a gaming oriented machine and it's quite evident you, given the black and red colour scheme that you've got going on. You've got the uh, the black, the red um, backlighting as well over on the keyboard. This is a, almost a full size keyboard and you've also got a number uh, keypad on the side which is really not all that common. Uh, you've got a slightly off-centre touchpad and a, and a fingerprint scanner which is built right into the touchpad itself. Now this is a, a convertible machine, it's got these really solid hinges and we will show you a little close up of that also shortly. Uh, the entire machine can convert into uh, four different modes, you've got the laptop mode, you can spin it around into a tent mode and you can also make it a tablet if that's what you prefer, if that's how you prefer to use your, uh, your machines. Uh, there is the fact that this is a 15 inch, 15.6 uh, inch screen and it's got huge bezels on either side and uh, these are very sharp bezels too and they really dig into your palm so you probably won't be very comfortable using this for too long the machine weighs 2.2 kgs as well which makes this a very heavy tablet indeed so you probably don't want to use it like a tablet all the time in which case the touch screen is probably not going to be the most useful function for you now coming to the specifications, this is powered by uh, an i5 or an i7 processor depending on the configuration that you choose. What's also interesting is that you can choose a 256 or 512 GB boot drive and you have the option of uh, choosing up to 2 terabytes of hard drive storage as, uh, as, uh, as just more storage that you want. Uh, the SSD is obviously going to be the faster one and that will be your boot drive too. Uh, beyond that, this uh, supports Dolby Audio and you've got front-facing speakers, up to 10 hours of battery life. Uh, this has the GTX 1050 GPU which, is, which was optional on the Spin 5 itself. Now let's take a look at the port selection on offer. Now over on the right, you've got the volume rocker first uh, for the times when you're using this machine like a, like a tablet. There's a 3.5mm audio jack, a full-size SD port uh, and a USB connector on the side the power button as well as a Kensington lock port. Coming over to the left hand side, uh, this time around you've got the charging connector, a full size HDMI port, a USB Type-C port as well as two USB 3.1 ports. Now this one can be used to charge other devices even when this machine is, uh, is in standby mode or uh, when switched off because this is a live connector. Of course that's going to deplete uh, the battery life of the laptop itself too. So taking a look now, unlike the Spin 5, uh, this one, as we as you've already seen, has a black and red uh, finish going on for it, and that continues over to the back panel as well. Uh, this is uh, the entire machine is made of plastic for that matter, and uh, this is a fingerprint ma ma magnet. This um, uh, the the cover, the front panel has um, has a metallic sheet on top of it, and uh, that might prevent scratches. But fingerprints remain a huge concern. Of course, there's the fact that this has been used by a lot of people today at the conference center. Uh, the bottom is entirely plastic, and you've got the vents at the bottom. Um, once the machine is up and kicking, especially with the GTX 1050 GPU, you're probably going to face a lot of uh, heat from the bottom of this machine. There's Nitro branding at the top as well as the front facing speakers. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That was a hands-on with the Nitro Spin 5, uh, seemingly a turbocharged version of the Spin 5 that we've shown you earlier from Acer at IFA 2017. This was Robotani and Siraj from phonearena.com. If you have any questions about this machine or anything else at IFA, or if there's anything else that you want us to check out, please do let us know in the comment section. We'll be sure to get back to you and we'll be sure to shoot that product as well. Thanks for watching.